Hello and welcome to the 98th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at Bootstrap templates. We won't be using any source code because we're just going to be using a web browser. This is going to be a quick tutorial on why you would want to use a Bootstrap template. First let's cover what a template is. It's a pre-developed page essentially which allows you to plug in images, data, etc. and help save time. That's essentially the reason you may want to use it, but you may not want to use it as sometimes you have to pay for a decent template, but there are some good free ones out there. Maybe using, They may be using an older version of Bootstrap, so there's certain features that are lacking and if you want to do some modifications or try some stuff out that are in the latest version of Bootstrap, aren't available. They're harder to customize to, to the core as you haven't created the foundations of it. Obviously I'm creating the foundations of Bootstrap but it just becomes even harder to customize. But I'm not trying to say don't use templates, just trying to give you the advantages and disadvantages of using a template. Let's show you some templates. So if we just go to Google and I'm just going to type in Bootstrap Templates and what we get free themes for Bootstrap. There is a bunch of websites. We've got Theme Forest as well. That's a big website. So if we just go, let's see what we get. This is a book. This is on what we want. <laughs> so yeah, okay, yeah, here's a good template and you can click preview. And this is basically what this theme would look like and you can like plug in your image plug in your appropriate text so if you let's say have a small business and you're trying to just create a page for it or a website that looks slick uh, goes against or uses the conventions that are used nowadays but obviously you just want to get it done very easily usually very cheaply then this is a great way of doing it so if you go to this is, this is another one. Let's go to this one here. This is a good looking one. It's a dashboard. So you can see the versatility that these templates offer. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that sound effect was from <laughs> this template that I haven't opened it yet. I was like, is that from my phone? Because I don't recognize the sound effect. And that would to save and works. So yeah, this is re this is a really good looking template. As you can see, it resizes really nicely. Got this little top bar here. We've got messages, like notifications. So this is your profile. This, actually, this is a very good looking template. And let's show you another one. So if we have a look, let's just get rid of Scott to prevent any more annoyances. Uh, and all most of these templates are paid, but let's check them out nonetheless. So let's do a preview, live preview. Just loading up. So there you go. We have a great looking template. It's got a great image slider with cool animation, responsive as usual. That's what Bootstrap is all about. And we got some really cool menus as well. They're very flashy. It's not something that I would want, but it's up to you. And this is really cool as well. So that's it. That's Bootstrap templates. The next tutorial will cover websites we have created using Bootstrap. We'll talk a little bit about that. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. Usually we would have source code in the description, but as we haven't actually coded anything, we're not going to have anything like that. But to see thousands of more videos like this one, actually over 6,000 completely free videos, just visit sonarlearning.co.uk, get there today and sign up for free, which will allow you to take private notes and check off lessons that you have done. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.